Hi, I'm Peter Briggs, and as well as the fellow who ended up directing the movie, I wrote the film Hellboy. Actually, I gave Hellboy with Mike Mignola, the guy who came up with the comic book, his name of Anand Rama um, many, many, many moons ago. Um, and outside of the film, but, you know, even before I was hired to do it, I was a huge fan of the comic book and still collect all the memorabilia. And uh, so when I heard that uh, Fez and Rama were doing a very limited edition uh, Hellboy Fez, it was kind of a no-brainer, really. Um, so this morning, uh, here in uh, sunny Sweden, where I'm doing prep on a movie I'm casting on right now, nice sturdy box arrived, as you can see, and uh, inside the box is this beautiful little baby, and here she is, here's the uh, Hellboy Fez. The build quality is exceptional, it's really gorgeous, I mean, I'm going to try and give you a close-up of the embroidery there. Don't have to do the mirror camera thing here. Um, yeah, that's, the, that's what it looks like. On the back, if you can see this, there's the little etched Mike Mignola signature right there, laser etched into the into the fur. And um, you know, fezes have a big history with Brits. Um, you know, we had them back in our colonial days in the Raj, smoking hats and things. And, uh, you know, originally they kind of came in in Islam. Um, quick shot there. With a, with a sash around them to replace turbans. They were a sign of prosperity. And, you know, down through the ages, you know, military police, regular armies, and just guys who really want to look um, turn of the century, urbane and sophisticated, have worn these things. So, as I said, uh, the, the build quality is, is exceptional. Doctor Who... Is eleventh uh, Doctor Fez. It, when you look at that and compare it to this, th theirs is a horrible tatty piece of red velvet nonsense. This is gorgeous. I mean, the material is sexy, sexy, and you can see the little uh, additional vent holes you can have put on there to keep your head cool on days. There's the um, there's the tassel, obviously, which is removable, which is interesting because uh, you, there's not too much of a Thing about this on the website, I actually got an extra gold tassel, but tried it on and realized that the geniuses at Fezzarama had got it right. Uh, they got the right color, and the gold one was kind of overkill, but I have this just in case. As you can see, there's a tiny little brass doohickey, um, which is spring-loaded, and if you press the button on top there, it kind of allows you to regulate the length of the tassel, so you're not always got it flapping around on your head. As well as that, aha, we also have this marvelous little thing, which is uh, a tiny, tiny, tiny little gold tentacle, which you can buy. It's not, it doesn't come with it. It's got a little push pin through it, so you can, uh, you can um, actually uh, affix it to the fez to stop it moving around. It takes a little bit of practice to do it. I wasn't sure whether it should be dangling loose um, or whether you can kind of attach it, but I chose to do the latter. And uh, I suppose that's great if you're walking around Comic-Con and you don't want your tassel going all over the place or you're in a super high wind in a time vortex or that kind of thing. You know. So here we have it, the Hellboy limited edition. Oh, and you know it's limited edition because every one you get this. My one is, uh, let's see if the camera can focus there. My one is number not too good, 55 of 100. Nice little metal pin there. Really good quality right through. These guys clearly know the stuff. I've seen turn of the century smoking hats and things, and uh, just nowhere near as pretty as these. This is just beautiful. Um, so, the hat, moment of truth. Oh, get it right way around. And uh, there we go. One. Oh, Yes. Um, they give you instructions on how to measure this with the two finger thing, so take a good look on that on the website. Um, it is snug. It is actually dead on. It's the, you know that's not coming off anytime soon. Um, and uh, yeah, look at that. The writer of Hellboy with his own Hellboy fez. Um, got a rap party of a movie coming up soon. I think I can probably guarantee that this is going to be getting some use 
on that if I don't already uh, order something custom through Fezzarama, which could very well be a nice gift for the crew. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Just fantastic. Uh, Joe at Fezzarama, thank you very much. Um, very happy recipient of one of these 100 hats. And um, in the word of uh, the 11th Doctor, this is a cool. Um, this is me, Peter Briggs. See you next time.